Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for September the 21st, 2020. I'm Mom and let me jump over here and jump into Discord and good morning, Ed. How are you today? Good morning, Mom. Oh, I'm okay. Hey. And, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're okay. So how was your weekend? Did you do a lot of upgrading? I do upgrading on a bunch of characters oh. um, and um, then I had the completely stupid idea to create <laughs> another complete group of oh, uh, uh, that is I created a new captain and um, yeah um, <laughs> which captain did you create? Uh, another uh, crew of super villains. Ah, which ones this time? Dark Shell. I'd... Completely uh, self. Uh, I will send you a pic okay. picture. And at this moment, I'm looking if I could collect somehow the um, the lobby for one of the bridge officers' weapons. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's, uh, sometimes you need cliche like. Uh, <laughs> and, 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 but, uh, sometimes you need cliche. I like it. Yeah, there he is. Uh, I will send you a message in personal channel. Okie dokie. I got home relatively early last night, so I did a little bit of my. Uh, jellyfish build in a couple of minor upgrades, but I wasn't having a lot of luck, so <clears throat> thought, okay, we're going to have to leave that for another day. Yeah. So, Darkshell and his four... Uh, um, Jinx needs a weapon, Toaster may need a uh, costume variation I'm looking for, the other uh, Mega Mind and the Anger Manager are. <laughs> the finance. Anger Manager? I love it. That is excellent. I also like Toaster. Very nice. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll change his uniform to something more nasty, but that. Um, that will take time anyway, especially it would be another lobby costume, mm. uh, something that I would also need on my um, fourth group uh, flying in the S.H.I.E.L.D. mobile headquarters. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, uh, that is something I didn't show you either, but it will, would take some time to uh, make the picture, but I can do it. It does not take that long. Just transwarp, do something. I will do it. Just give you will see a creature. And the thing, a the theme cliche, Jinx is awesome in powers. And by the way, when you look to it, um, the eyes are definitely not Orion, as you see. Mm -hmm. uh, that's because, but the costume is definitely. Uh, you can get that combination from the uh, free medical emergency hologram you get uh, we, we got uh, as giveaway that is costume options for orion starts looking like orion but as flexible as an alien huh i hadn't noticed that so you can totally change that and so i created a very frightening uh, yeah, lady in few clovers. Now, for the people in the mobile shield headquarters. Sorry, I had to take a hit of coffee. I, I got totally lost. Meanwhile, uh, the two accounts are so similar when it comes to power level and stuff i always have to well on what account is that character now <laughs> okay that's dark shell and 
the Mobile Shield headquarters is um, the Jemha Dark Carrier the new cause uh, yeah she's flying in uh, in, in a uh, uh, how would, how do you call those uh, plane carriers from the army plane carriers from the armies you mean yeah, the big ships where they start jets from. It's, They're uh, called carriers. Carriers, just carriers. Yeah, you had okay. It, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's a carrier, uh, a flying carrier, like the okay. shield uh, uh, thing. But first, um, now for oh, the kitten, God. have to do the. So, Rasul, how did you get the extra 50% in your uh, lightning build? Okay, which module? Equipment Diagnostics. Plus duty officers, I guess. Excuse me while I hiccup. Oh. It's an engineer's module. Okay. Well, Jason Saab, of course, got it because Saab is Saab and gets things on day one. Um... <laughs> But I haven't seen her talking about it. Yeah, I'll get the walker in two days. Two days? I think. No, hold on. I get the walker tomorrow, I think. I already ran it this morning, so let's see where we're at. Yeah, I get it tomorrow morning. I will get one today. Day, I guess it's going tomorrow. Y yeah, the uh, work schedule is such that I just can't do the 20 hour cooldown on this one. I mean, I can once or twice, but then it winds up being the next morning, and then, yeah, I just can't run it during the day. I even took the uh, computer to work to see if I could run it off my phone. I mean, it's just not strong enough to do it that way. So I hadn't even looked at what the heck the event was. I just wanted to get through it so I could get to the uh, to lithium. All right, so we have a miniaturized Alachi technology, blah, 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 blah. So is the miniaturized Alachi walker a ground? Yes. Oh, that's nice. The, the miniaturized is a big ground combat pet, and the micro miniaturized is a usual vanity pet. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice indeed. And this runs through the 29th, right? So we still have a week to go. Hey, Rasul, can you put that in uh, GG, either Discord or Fleet Chat at some point so other people can see it too. So, Ed, what should we do today? Um, anything you uh, 
First, I have to re uh, reconfigure here the user interface because for the screenshot of the um, other crew, I rescaled the user interface to 200% size. So you see everything uh, just the user interface. Yes. So I'll, pick up <clears throat> I'll take a look at uh, stuff they got posted tonight when I get home. Just because, 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 because. Because it's been a bad weekend. Actually, it wasn't a bad weekend. Just, just working on rebuilding the house so we can get it sold at some point. Just what you want to do. You get a weekend off and you go home. You have to dig out an old garden, fill it in with new dirt, go to the gardening store, buy sod, put the sod in, accidentally leave the gates open, the dogs escape twice. Um, get the dogs back in the house without realizing you left the gate door open, and of course the dogs promptly go racing out through the gate again. Uh, uh, I, I think it, uh, as far as I recall, Ophelia dog should be way too old to, for such uh, silly things. <laughs> she loved or it. Or is she just, uh, so Ophelia is just, um, well, I'm old and can't already move, but for this uh, confuse the mom make trouble, be, be silly. Fifi's only like three years old at the most, maybe two years old. We kind of don't know. Fifi. Yes, Ophelia. Errol is about ten years old, and Errol's like, well, heck, if she can go out, I can go out too. And he just kind of trots <laughs> out right behind her, not running, but trotting behind her. If the puppets are silly, I will follow and be silly too, exactly. I, I guess. Exactly. And they got ah. out and charged at my neighbor's kids, and my neighbor stepped out there and said, okay, stop. And both dogs went, okay, we'll stop. And I'm like, hold on a second. You must be the dog whisperer. And my husband got the leashes. We put them on their leashes. Finally got them back in after chatting with the neighbors for a while. And I thought, what the heck? If my neighbor can talk my dog into not being stupid, I wonder if I can teach her anything today. So I did that teachable moment thing, which is you give the dog the command just as they're starting to do something. And they realized there's a word for it. So she was playing with a tennis ball and she was starting to drop it. And as it left her mouth, I said, drop, hit the ground, gave her big hugs and stuff. And she's like, so if I let go of this, when you say that, I get hugs? We can do this. And so she learned <laughs> drop on one, one time through. And now she comes running back up with the tennis ball, immediately drops it without the command and requests oh, hugs. Oh, my hug, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, yes. Yeah. Poor baby. I'm sure she thinks that I don't love her because I keep leaving her. But as part of everything that's going on, I found a uh, place here where if, you know, push comes to shove and I have to bring the dogs up here with me, they can go stay in a doggy daycare while I'm at the office. And it's just down the street from my office. So it's perfect. Though that would be a really expensive way to do things. But hey, that's how it goes. That yeah, is how it goes sometimes. Yeah. Um, cuddles. Uh, two things we could do. Okay. Uh, number one, finally see how afterlife looks. <gasps> yes, yes, absolutely. I went to visit yeah. my son the other day, and he's like, gosh darn it, I haven't gotten past that mission because it's bugged. And I'm like, but they fixed it. Or so they say. Exactly. And um, so let's look if they... Uh, yeah. If they've actually fixed it now. I am sending an invitation, Captain Cuddles. There it is. I did do a little bit of work on my torpedo build, and I picked up a... Uh, God, what did I pick up yesterday? I picked up some nice torpedoes. Maybe not the best ones, but some nice ones. I'm hemming and hawing on a Kelvin timeline. So I picked up, da, 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 let me look at my notes here, an enhanced biomolecular photon torpedo, a dark matter quantum torpedo, a neutronic torpedo launcher, and a Delphic distortion torpedo. Like I said, I'm not sure about the Kelvin. Uh, the Kelvin um, of... 
good torpedo, high firing rate, but um, and um, oh, uh, fine for a torpedo build, of course. Uh, uh, it's now. Uh, I I wouldn't. W I'm pretty sure it would take some math and some very detailed review to make the uh, reasons why these torpedoes are better than those. And uh, I go very for the um, uh, common opinion is uh, that these torpedoes are best for torpedo builds. That is easy to just rebuild. And when it comes to, but I have that one. Okay, which one now? <clears throat> Torpedoes are all good on their own. Yeah, I was just looking for some fun ones. I did get a couple reputations, one lobby torp. So not bad stuff. It wasn't that expensive. I can always use it on something else if I don't like it. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah, um, who was it? Augmented had a very pretty uh, video for his Vulcan ship, the Jellyfish. Problem is, because of the quality of the graphics, you can't really see what he put on it. <sighs> really, really, really hard to see. Yeah, that's, um, uh, I'm quite happy that my, um, Okay, um, I, I do just videos, but there I can have uh, the quality so people can read tooltips and the like, and I can chat and talk. Yeah, and talk. yeah it's easier when people it's, talk it up. Uh, yeah, of course, it's kind of making it stuff. And um, the, um, how did I call that thing, George? No, it was Carl, but uh, now it's uh, <laughs> recorded. Shit. Um, <laughs> Let me grab the mission here. Uh, yes, indeed. Grabbing the mission and the episode. Here it is under the Kiri return. Serve the Empire well. Hailing afterlife. Accepted. Um. I didn't see the link in at Russell, but I was running it on the phone, which always makes it harder. There was a lot of um, screenshots of what he had done, but as I said, if the quality of the graphics isn't there, it doesn't help. I'm launching to head over to Afterlife. Here we are. There you are. All right, let's go to Boreth. Yep. Back in the good old days when... There it is, entering. Well, the video, even on the big computer, doesn't help. It's, my computer's too big, but it's all music and pointing at stuff. Let's see if I don't time out here. Uh, you are not what moving? Yeah. I'm already in. Yeah, it's because I disconnected. Yeah, and it. <sighs> Go. Good morning, Lant. How are you doing today? Ah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. I beamed back to Earth. Let's try that again. You beamed back to Earth. Yeah, that is... 
Uh, I had this uh, incident earlier, and uh, usually I have I have few problems, but that is definitely um, nothing to do with your internet or mine. That is server server nonsense. Yeah, yeah, you're telling me about that. All right, I'm hanging in there, Lant. All right, let's go ahead and try this one. Okay. Should be a little easier than last time, though. Yeah, they are touchable now. No more hiding in the planet's atmosphere. Oh, however, they managed to... Gosh darn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Now the Gosh, car goes it. into her face mode. <clears throat> okay, that I will avenge you. Thank you. I deliberately turned right into the warp core. Uh, now another group. Okey -doke. Heading. Where are they? No more trouble targeting them. That was the third set where we had the issue. This set, yeah. Well, oh, this is nice. That's good. Yeah. Accepting. Actually, Russell, I've been changing my uh, piloting layout, so I'm trying to pilot off my right hand now instead of my left, see if that doesn't improve things. Let's see if I can do this without disconnecting. It's currently loading. Yes. So but usually loading. if it... Oh, there we go. If it hits 30, then we're good. Which it did. Cuddling triple. Oh, yes. And by the way, um, the new tune, of course, it did. Um, new personal record on running the Kobali Prime acts. Really? Yeah. All three acts completed within 54 minutes. Wow. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can be even faster, because now it comes to the weight uh, the the, uh, the choke points where you have to stay and yeah. wait until they beam out and the, some of the talkies plus, plus loading screens. <laughs> well, are we supposed to go the other way? We're we supposed to go the other way. I think it, here is uh, it's going down. Okay, yeah, it's got a green arrow going that way, so I guess it's the long term you got to go around and down type thing. 
Hmm. Downwards, yeah. Um, I Just gave him a Zompack fab. That, that word, yes. Yeah. Zompack lightning. And now it comes to do not fight, just hit to the meditation shrine. Oh yeah, I spent so much time fighting people going, what is wrong with this? Didn't know yeah. that that was it. Accepting? And auntie is but you and accepting. Accepting. Uh, the episode is called Aftermath, Jason. This is one that was bugged for a couple of months now, maybe longer, where you couldn't target one set of the ships and therefore you couldn't progress the game. And Ed and I had to skip it when we started this off, so we want to go back and do it now that it's fixed. All right, come on, come on, come on, baby. Let's see if we can get through this. Ooh, we got to 30 again. And I got a cup of coffee, another mm. cup of coffee in these, because this time I have uh, my can of coffee, but small cups. So I have many cups compared to my... Um, <clears throat> Yes, forgot my cuddling. I'll take the right side if you'll talk to the left side. Okay. Why did uh, they not like you? Because I'm a Gorn, I just told them to do what I told them to do. I know no fear and submit. I am Gornalicious. Fine. What are you doing here? There to fight, one fight. Ooh, we gotta get these guys though. Oh! Now, big. Uh, where's the big honcho there? Down here. And now I call Denver. Submit to my mighty dino. Jibber, such a good boy. Indeed. Come on, Have you time warped him? No, oh, I just zapped him. I'm pretty sure you time warped did him. Did I? I guess I did. He will be re. I guess he will re. There, he is. there he is.
There he was. All right, we got that accolade. Yay! And accept next map. I have accepted next map. Okay, so the weather has finally kind of turned, and this is the first cold morning I've had. So I'm holding on to my coffee more for the warmth of the coffee cup than anything else. Hmm, my time out. We'll see. Loading yet. I know. There it goes. 30. Yep. 34, 40, 9,500. Yay! Join the souls of the Barge of the Dead and destroy the Fakiri horde. <laughs> uh, cuddle. No, oh, cuddle trouble. Okay, that wasn't very impressive. Hello, Ravager. Would you please accept the incredible amount of damage I'm putting upon you? Yeah, they're not taking damage. That's interesting. Pretty sure he has been ordered to stay a while until uh, we die of boredom or so. Wouldn't that be funny if we lost the first glitch and now we've got a new glitch? Yeah! Oh, Slave Master. He's not oh, taking damage they knocked up. They killed Nuncio. Nuncio! Nuncio will be avenged! Interesting. Yeah, he's really not taking damage. Um, we have to defend the bar. It says uh, we have to defeat, defeat the, Fakir. the Fakiri. Now, ah. Uh, oh, now. Okay. Now it comes time uh, for us to claim our righteous victory. Where is the Nuncio? And, and Guido, Guido both yeah. lying Where around. They? Yes. Where's Guido? And Auntie. Guido. Where'd they go? Whatever it is, um, it's not protecting Lieutenant Doran. Mm -hmm. They just got below the bridge somehow for some reason or okay. like. But I think we can. I will now call reinforcement from my. Welcome, I beamed you into afterlife, dear security escort. Okay, a regroup button worked, so I do now CPR on a holograph. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure it looks it just looks like CPR, but it's really te some kind of tech stuff I'm doing. Not always sure how what, what I'm doing to uh, get Auntie back from unconsciousness, but it somehow always works. Rebooting her. Re ah, rebooting a holo. Auntie, the reboots. <clears throat> this is not exciting. By the way, we completed the mission and now are again in the next one, actually. Hmm. We did uh, uh, so we can collect a reward for our afterlife, and we are running the gates of Grethor at this moment, where we have been last time and were so victorious against Treasure and Coward. Coward dies. <laughs> so. 
always right to replay a victory you already had. Oh yes, especially with new toys. Yeah. I just remember this being so hard the first time I played it. Uh, yeah, it's just, um, meanwhile, uh, we learned to use kit modules properly, we had cool stuff, summon, uh... The first time I played this, we didn't have kits or kit modules. That's how long ago that was. Yeah. I am summoning treachery. Yeah. Dear Gideon, dear Nunzi and Auntie, AOA damage does damage you. Do something, run away from it, but do they never learn that? No, 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 no. That's just like, um, And, um, that one? And of Where? course, Auntie's holo emitter is. Where's also Nuncio here. and Guido? There's Guido. Nuncio is here, and yeah. See, I don't get the um, names over their heads when they're your tunes, unless I'm standing next to them. Mm. Um, I click on the icons mm -hmm. uh, in the team uh, ah. store, I get some uh, helpful. I am summoning Dishonor. Yeah. And now to the gates. More gates. Oops. Those gates. Really nicely done. Opening slowly. And Gorn was just being a Gorn, just rushes and in. And by the way, one should actually not run to the fire. It's not doing much damage, but it puts you into combat, which is not nice. <clears throat> Yeah, my best advice to in this morning seems to be do not do as I just did. 
Yeah, I ran through one fire at the very beginning and realized, nope, that, that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. I do not need more triples. Well, ouchie, you know, is a relative thing. It was way ouchy back in the beginning. It's not so ouchy now. Oh, that wasn't so hard. One final challenge ahead of us. I'm accepting. I really should make our uh, right resin triple bon bonus re really persistent, like the other triple bonuses. Yeah. Are, but very useful. Dun, dun. Oh, there is a Carlos person. <clears throat> I've spent too much time in looking to Dr. Holograph novels. <laughs> Enter the Fakiri's lair. Oh, oh that's nice. The big fight Ooh. and the smoke and so. Defeat the aggressive Fakiri. As if they ever have been different. Yeah. easier than I thought it would be. Yes. All right, where are you, Mr. Fakiri? Uh, yeah, by the way, it's mm -hmm. Peklar, as he says. Peklar. And so if you ask a Fakiri, the actual name is Feklari. I always wonder about that because a capital I and a lowercase l. Yes, look identical, and um, in the early missions, um, every voice actor except Michael Dawn has been instructed to spell it Peklar, and Worf spells it Fek -E or and Feklari, and Worf calls them Fekiri. Except in uh, one episode, he calls them Feklar. So that's where it's like, don't, yeah, just consistency. They are that even, they even don't know how their actual name is. <laughs> they like to confuse us with their name. A 
and now speak with Callus. Where is he? He's right there here. There he is. Yeah. All that smoke and... You can overlook a mighty warrior sometimes. That's interesting. I didn't really talk to him and you're 500 meters away. Go figure. Did you get a beam up to ship? Yes, and now I beam up. I am beaming up. Because I, I just talked to him too, and um, yes. And speak with Jimmy, Jim Puck. Come on, Jimmy. Okay. You can only have only one shard sort of cars, so this time I go for a butlet. A regular one. Serve the Empire. I don't have this sword of Kalos on this tune, I don't think. Shard sword? It's an epic weapon, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just the reward from this mission. Oh, so I did get it already then. Bummer. Bummer. Go right there. Yes. Okay, I got that. There we go. Oh, I know someone who will be very happy about it. <laughs> oh, it's the uh, yeah the regular. You know, I have sir, uh, I have heard of a very brave and daring um, Federation brute uh, duty officer most of the time. Her name is Marina, and she is <laughs> fond of uh, butlets. That would be funny. Yeah, and this is now a high-quality butlet I could sell her for. Well, I guess um, she, there are rumors she, she has an ample stash of Romulan ale or Romulan whiskey, as she calls it <laughs> somewhere. And that would be cool. That would be. Do you know how rarely you meet a Federation officer who really knows how to get drunk beyond reason? Based on that show, I would say there's quite a few of them there. <laughs> yeah, <Wow. laughs> four of them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the officers, too. Uh, Holy moly. Definitely not a kid's show. Well, I've got a few minutes <laughs> left, Ed. Do we want to do something? Um, few. Uh, we got like ten minutes-ish. Sounds... Uh, okay, uh, I think... Petrol would be most appropriate as we uh, can do it in, t in 10 minutes. On TFOs, you never know. So, mission yes, yes, uh, yes. would be spoiling a little bit of mission. And, yeah. A patrol is absolutely fine. Let me see if I've got any Polaron that I can throw in here. Just because I have to do some Polaron damage. And that would work out really well. I don't want to do that. All right, throw on some garbage Polaron, but it'll be good enough. What shall we do? Um, a nice, cute, uh, well, uh, just a clash about Theron, okay. in Civil War. Sure. Just nice pew pew. Sounds good to me. I'm launching. Launching a clash above Saron. I am Captain Cause we were good. Shimpak will put these Mokai rebels down like the rabbit charge they are. I just got hit with them. Nothing impressive. Not worthy of dying. Oh, 
There, that's repaired now. I'd say I need to beef up this build, but I'm going to switch over to my new Rizian ship tonight. Line Jason. Jason says today is a good day to die. Tomorrow's a better one. Apparently, need Romulan marks. That's right, I was building something on Romulan reputation. Well, that was fun. I've got some more work to do, but that was fun. Wow, that's what I was building. All right, I still have to get 235 more Romulan marks, so I guess I'll have to zip down to Romulus and run around for a little bit. But that won't take too long. So, good ending point for us for the day, Ed? I've lost Ed. And... Um, I uh, <laughs> had my mic up, uh, which was quite nice, because you did not get many of my snarky commands, uh, yeah. commands that way. Like, oh, you did it again! <laughs> three times. I died three times. It just sucks. Ah, uh, yeah. Afterlife is now... Done. Yay. Done. Sounds good. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there, everybody. Um, tentative plans for this week is we will be on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday night. I'm not going back to Chicago this weekend because my son will be going down there. Um, I know most of you know this, but my husband's ill, so I'm kind of running back yeah. and forth to Chicago for a while. Hope, hopefully, hopefully it'll work out. We'll see. Yeah, and I would... Uh... That would, uh, I think it would would be a good idea doing um, with our uh, next upgrade um, open colony upgrade opening in about four days or so. so yes, yes. This week, colony invasions and streaming might be nice. Okay, we we could do that if you stay up late. We can do one in the evening. I have been running off to the colony to do. Um, 
all of the little daily ones there or the hourly ones there. But the problem is once you leave there and you go back, you're not there. You're someplace else. And then um, that's so annoying. Yeah, but um, one thing, Mom. Yes. You uh, All three, you mm-hmm. can do all three missions in the central building. Yes, right? I know. I, we are T4. And um, yeah. It's just, the, I wish I could just stay there. I'm wondering maybe I should just beam back to local sector space and see if it doesn't, because every time it takes me back to like Kronos or somewhere else, which is a pain in the butt. Uh, ah, that, okay, a plus 15 minutes, wait for the transwarp to cool down. Yeah. I, I... Very annoying. Yeah. Very kind of annoying. Young. All right, Ed, well, I will be back. Um, I have to run some errands on the way home, because all the stuff I was going to do this weekend didn't get done. But I should be back on 8 p.m. tonight. I don't, that would be, what, 2 a.m. your time? 8 p.m. Yeah, would be two my night, and uh, so, um, if I were reasonable, I w- would not be there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, which is but probably you... the case actually, because uh, I have uh, some stuff to do, so I'm busy all day. And um, no problems. I will be on, um, and let's figure out a time that we want to do the. Uh, yeah, and same. if I do not encounter them, my late evening, say hello to the night shift, as there is a savvy. A DTs. I missed the same a lot today in the morning, but um, okay. <sighs> say hello, everybody else. I will say hello to everybody else, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. For everybody else, we'll see about uh, 12 and a half hours from now, so take care, and we'll talk to you later. Have a good day, and as Wolfie always say, stay awesome. <laughs>